Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Vault Hunters. Last episode we built several farms including this uh, basalt and cobblestone generator which has now generated 18,000 blocks of each. So uh, I think we don't need basalt or cobblestone for the rest of the server. You can see the copper hasn't even aged completely. That's how little this has been running and how much it's produced. But today we're also going to focus in slightly on farms and specifically we're going to be looking at Britannia. As you can see here we've got 18 knowledge stars. So I'm just going to chomp on all of these. Fantastic. And Britannia research done. So how does Britannia work? I have no idea. I've watched a Hellfire Mages video on it. So hopefully we can learn how to do this together. But generally the reason why I'm getting Britannia is that it has some really cool functionalities that are really going to help us with the vaults. One of the main ones being item duping. I'm looking forward to just having infinite resources of certain types. You can, for example, make andesite by just having stone, basically, uh, or, you know, granite from just having stone. There's a lot of different things we can do with it, basically. So the first thing I want to do today is just start getting a bit set up for Britannia. And actually, I'm thinking that it may be time to do something a bit more outside. And there's this big area here which has been unused up to now. So the first thing we need for Britannia is these mystical flowers. Right, so step one, I believe, is to get some petals. Right, so this is what we need to do. We need to go there, create two mystical petals. Place those petals into there, and then grab the bone meal. Oh, there we are. Lovely. Right, so we've got two of those, which means now we've got eight. Cool. Okay, I see where this is going. So one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's do this for all the different flowers and get a good amount of them going. So the thing we're going to need is a pure daisy, which requires these ingredients. We need a chromatic steel ingot, three white petals, and a perfect larimar. So we should have, yeah, there we go, a nice ingot. Uh, let's get ourselves a perfect larimar. So I believe we just chuck that, that, and that into there. Chuck some seeds in. Hey, pure daisy. And now with this, what we do is we place the pure daisy place some stone around it yeah there you go you can see particles starting to appear and in a bit these should turn into whatever the thing was Britannia rock Britannia rock oh here we go here it is oh awesome it's turned into this thing so we need that to make yes we need it to make the mana pools one two three four fantastic Okay, we need one of these wand of the forest, I think they're called. So we need some wood. And to get the special wood, it's very much the same as what we've just done. We just put wood around one of these pure daisies. And there you have it. It turns into the new wood, which is called living wood. There you go. I forgot what it was. There we have it. We have a wand of the forest. So then I need a mana spreader. I'm going to need a whole load of more wood for this. And I need to make an endo flame, I think it's called. Okay, so we need two brown, a red, and a light grey. So, we've got all this stuff. Check it all in. And we want to put a bit of water on these. Nice. It does feel like I'm doing some potions, basically. Uh, which is very much what I was aiming to do this season. Hey, fantastic. So we can put these flowers here like that. And then we need to chuck one of these on top somewhere. So how do I get this to... Ah, okay, cool. So we do that. Ah, there we go. I managed to get it to face the place I wanted it to face. I don't need to connect each of these. Yes. To the thing, the mana spreader. The way this setup works is that if I put some sources of coal down here... These flowers, which are called endo flames, will transform it into mana, which will go up to the spreader, which will then spread it out amongst these four mana pools. So let's see if that, that is working. Uh, chuck that in there. <gasps> oh, they're lighting up. Looks like it's working. And yeah, there's our mana going towards our mana pools. That's awesome. It's slowly filling up, I think. So I think I can just chuck that in. Oh, yes, we got ourselves a mana pearl. We can use this to build 
a man a catalyst? I'm learning all the words today. And I'm learning all the wrong words. It's alchemy catalyst. But there you go. Nice and easy. We've now got an alchemy catalyst. So now, if I just replace... Yeah, that block with an arc with one of these catalysts. I think I yeah, look at this. I think I can chuck say some stone into there. <gasps> look at that! We've now got a load of andesite. Isn't that awesome? Oh, not only that, but we got some diorite as well. So I think the andesite went back in. Oh, and some granite as well. Okay, it's a bit chaotic, it's kind of going through loops, but that is awesome. So there's a whole load of recipes that this thing can do. And I think the main thing I'm going to try and get for next time is this thing here, Conjuration Catalyst, which can actually dupe items. You can see here that the recipe for coal, for example, you can put one coal in and get two coal out. So I definitely want to make one of these, but I'm going to work on it next episode. I feel this is quite a lot to get started with. So I'm going to leave this running overnight and get some more mana. And then, yeah, we'll continue this journey soon. But now it's time for some Volt Runs. And Fuzzy is online, so he's going to join me. Maybe we can, you know, put some stuff on it. Make it interesting. Yeah, why not? Yeah, something like that. Such as Plentiful. A lot of Plentiful. I really need Plentiful. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. I've got, like, um, all the expertise that make him more likely to not break and that kind of stuff. Um oh nice yeah so we can we can hopefully put a whole load of stuff on that bad boy but uh we'll have to nice and i have a, I have a ton of catalysts mate so okay uh it did it become a modifiable at seven okay um and we have four random negatives so we've got shortened draining plentiful and trapped uh so shortened just means less tired doesn't it uh yeah but hopefully my four minutes extra helps with nice. that nice you know, i'm going straight ahead north oh okay so as i so i'm gonna deviate and i'm gonna go east oh but that's a village room oh it's if a... that's uh if it's living then it is a living one although i feel like maybe i should do the plentiful i guess yeah maybe i got the plentiful Let's let's keep it consistent, you know. Yeah. We just use seven consistent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we use seven catalysts. You know, I feel like we should probably yeah, yeah. get some value out of that. <gasps> Chris of them, Chris of them, Chris of them. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh, that was a creeper that flew past me. Yeah, good night. You know what? I'm not having too much lag today, which is good. Well, now. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> I'm actually like you know dead. But it just hasn't <laughs> registered yeah. yet. Yeah. <laughs> I've been dead for the last seven minutes, and uh, it's just the game hasn't updated <laughs> I, I, it yet. <laughs> I've been like, Rob, Rob, what do you do, Rob, Rob? <laughs> You're yeah. just like talking. <laughs> yeah. You know the weirdest thing. You know the whole water thing makes mobs faster now. Yeah. Except drowned. What really? Yeah. Hey, Echo. Hey. I also found that like it makes them faster, but also. Their pathing is a bit weird. They just jump up and down a lot. <laughs> yeah, and it kind of, but like in a way that almost like it is still worth putting water down, like because you can kind of trick their pathing a bit. Do you need any doors for anything? I need an ashium door, but um, you're, it's too far, too low level. Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm just too good. <laughs> I mean, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 like, Fine, Rob, I get it. Like, I get like it. I'm objectively a higher level. Like, what do you want it me to do? true. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's also because I'm better, obviously, but... <laughs> of course, yeah. Yay, more things. <laughs> there's just a pile of... Uh, there's, there's a pile of... Uh, of uh, just well, vault stone. And I opened it up, and just in the middle, there was a zombie. It looked like a birthday cake, and with a okay. surprise in the center. When it's like, you know, Happy there's birthday, a cake. Mr. President. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what it was like, but it was just a zombie. <laughs> Easy. Don't want to do something else? Nah, let's just go to the stone. Done it. Yay. There you go. Oh. Mr. President. Oh, thanks, Rob. It's going to be a zero drop. Now, there's something I need to do, and that is to meet up with Hellfire Mage. Unfortunately, Hell has decided to leave the server to pursue other projects that he's working on. And I'm obviously very sad about this because... Hell and I get along like a house on fire. 
like literally we would set the house on fire it's happened before <laughs> so as a as a send-off we've decided to put one last prank on the server rob rob hellfire hellfire Hell ah, 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 hey i made that where are you where are you oh there you are hello hey, you are. hello <laughs> hello how's it going um, Nice I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm getting ready to to leave. Suitcases are packed and whatnot. But no, I thought we should do. No, no, you're not leaving. I'm I'm in denial. I I, I, I am though. I am. No, no, I'm in denial. No, actually, <laughs> you're leaving. Oh, nah. What, <laughs> what a twist? What, what happened there? <laughs> How did you do that? Magic. What did we swap? Um, okay, I'm really confused about that. You did that, but sure. <laughs> um anyway yeah i thought that yeah. uh since you were the very 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 first person i spoke to from the smp That's um, true, yeah. it makes sense that you're the the last person that i speak to and that we should do a prank together of course i'd, I'd love to and i'm honestly honored that you'd think yeah. of me for this I, I think my uh most notorious prank was the great wool inning <laughs> yeah. i think um so <laughs> And I feel a little bit bad because when we did Everts previously, it kind yeah. of got overshadowed by peeps. So I feel like we need to do that one properly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, know. I wasn't there for the first one, so this is my redemption to. Oh, able this to is do true. It, yeah, so, yeah. You, you you were still staying neutral, weren't you, at the time? And yeah, we've got like five thousand wool uh, ready to go in cool. Everts' lovely signature blue color. So I think yeah, we just uh, grab all of that and then yeah, go and start woolening. This is your chance to act like with no punishment. <laughs> I was tempted to blow up my base, but people like using my base for like uh, the precision and like mechanism yeah. things. So where, where am I going to get my time. carrots from when I need to steal them from somebody's storage system? Now, oh, do you just keep taking my carrots? Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Oh, okay. And your potatoes. That's fine because I, I stole else. the pizza night off for me. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, to be honest, like I've just been using your base as a kind of shopping center, to be honest. But no, one fair. where you don't have to pay for stuff, like all oh, right, okay, a free shopping center. <laughs> a free shopping center. Go there. Oh, Ever uses half slabs for everything. Ah, I'm in lava. No, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, oh, oh. Is it good though, Rob? I fell Is down. It? I fell down a chimney. Um, <laughs> Oh, what? I've ended up inside. How? How am I inside? I don't know. Um, what, what uh, have you done? <laughs> what are you I doing? I, I don't. I can't get out. I don't want to leave this room. What do you like a treasure room? Rob, help! <laughs> what, what's happened? Where are you? I'm inside. Why are you there? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Rob. I just ended up in here. Hell. <laughs> look, right. look outside the window. Hello. Hi, friend. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what okay. we're going to do. Okay, you, you wait down a second. I'm going gonna, I'm okay. gonna to do something. Uh, it's all, it's all gonna good. You're going to cover the window, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Oh, oh, oh there's a... Done. What? It looks so good. Have you seen it from a distance? I'm, about, have a look. I'm about to do it. I'm flying up. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's so blue. <laughs> is that central? That, that, that's, that is is central. that central? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, let's make it one too wide. There you go. There you go. That's what you want. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. final prank. Oh, oh, hell. I'm not crying. You're crying. Right, let's get some work done on the gaming district as the last thing for today. Last week, I added some of these redstone links to our bank... And it's given me a really cool idea for our gaming district. You see all these lamps that are currently lit up throughout this maze? Well, what if they turned off throughout the game? And this is something I wanted to do from the start. I didn't really know how to put a whole load of redstone uh, here. But I think that actually these links could be the solution. Because I can put a link on every single one of these torches and then turn them off remotely. So I'm going to go and place a whole load of these links and uh, create a little system that will slowly turn off the lights. Now I have finished off the system that turns off the lights. It's a bit more complicated than I thought it would be, but this is the circuit behind me. And the way this works is that when somebody enters the game, they are gonna essentially flip this lever. They're not actually gonna flip it, but 
uh, that's what's going to happen. This line is going to light up and you can see there's lots of timers here that go off every minute. So in one minute, this dropper is going to drop an item here, which is then going to turn off the first of our signals. And if we look up here, you can see that every single one of these lamps has a symbol on top of it. So for example, in order for this one to turn off, the same frequencies would have to be on the box over there. So we'll see that in about a minute, some of these are gonna start turning off. Oh, there we go. So that's the first item dispensed. And you can see over here that that's turned off the first two. So now if we fly up here, you can see that for example, as you can see now this one is off and this will make a massive difference for the feel of the game. For example, now the first light is off and when you walk through the maze, it's pretty much lit up. So it's very easy to see what's going on. Now compare this with, with for example, eight lights going off. You can see there's still some lights on, but it's a lot more atmospheric and a lot more dark. So you get a completely different feel than you did before. And by the end, you're gonna be in complete darkness. And the good thing is that this is totally resettable. All you need to do is flip that lever and everything will turn back to normal but with this new system in place it is unfortunately the end of this episode i hope you have enjoyed it and if you have please remember to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one